Tonight was the first AISD Board of Trustees meeting of 2023, and I would like to brief you on a few of the highlights. Elementary students from Blanton, Butler, Farrell, and Johns helped us start the year and the meeting off with a performance of the song Martin Luther King. Farrell teacher Johnny Maples led the singers who represented several hundred other students who will join them on Monday in performing at the MLK Youth Extravaganza at Fielder Metro Center. Speaking of Martin Luther King celebration this weekend, tonight we recognize the student winners of the MLK Art and Essay Contest. Be sure to visit the AISD's blog next Tuesday for an announcement of all the winners. Then we got to honor our student of the month, Lamar High School senior, Austin Palacios. Austin excels in the classroom with his natural curiosity, enthusiasm, and grit, but music is his love. Austin is an accomplished member of Lamar's marching band, symphonic band, and jazz ensemble. He's known for his smile and his kindness and is very deserving of this award. Congratulations, Austin. Then it was down to business. Probably the biggest news of the night is something that a lot of parents, students, and teachers have been anxiously awaiting. Next year's school calendar. Well, it's official. Next year's calendar has been approved. Visit AISD.net and click on the calendars in the menu bar at the top of the page to see it. We also approved the order of election for the next Board of Trustees election. The three-year terms for two seats on our board will end in May, so there will be an election on May 6th and early voting starting on April 24th. We always approve the district purchases at board meetings, and one that I would like to highlight for tonight is the architectural services for P-TECH renovations. We're starting two new pathways in technology, high schools, or P-TECHs next year. These schools will offer the students an opportunity to earn college credit and workplace certifications. We already have two P-TECH programs. One is at Bowie High School and one is at Lamar High School. And we'll be adding new ones at Sam Houston and Seguin High Schools. The architectural services will help us make some renovations at Sam and Seguin to ensure that we have the right spaces and classrooms for the new programs. Later, we received the monthly financial report and operations through November and a report of the district's investment activity through November. And finally, Kelly Horn, Arlington ISD Assistant Superintendent of Facility Services, gave us an update about the 2019 bond. The 2019 bond program is a $966 million five-year capital program that includes new construction, renovations, and facility condition improvements, along with capital purchases for technology, fine arts, and transportation. Much of the presentation focused on new construction and facility renovations and improvements. And there's a lot to talk about. Our brand new bond-funded Webb Elementary just opened last week. And construction on major additions are just about to start at Arlington High and Bailey Junior High. Plus, new playgrounds recently opened at four more elementary schools. It's a lot to talk about, but if you want to find anything else about our bond projects, go to AISD.net slash bond2019. Those are just a few of the highlights for tonight. If you would like more details on any of these or any other items that I did not cover, please click on the link on the screen to watch the entire meeting. <laughs>